Amnesty International has slammed all 50 U.S. states and the capital Washington for failing to have laws that adequately regulate the use of lethal force by police. Here's our correspondent, Ghani Chichikam, with the details. Amnesty International reviewed U.S. state laws governing the use of lethal force by law enforcement officials, and it says it found that all states failed to comply with international law and standards. The report says many of the states do not even meet the less stringent standards set by U.S. constitutional law. Some state laws currently allow for use of lethal force to suppress opposition to an arrest, to arrest someone for a suspected felony, uh, to suppress a riot or mutiny, or for certain crimes such as burglary. The Human Rights Watchdog says in many instances, police in the U.S. fail to comply with their basic duty of protecting human life. International law only allows police officers to use lethal force as a last resort in order to protect themselves or others from death or serious injury. Amnesty International found that the U.S. stands in violation of international law and human rights when it comes to use of deadly force by U.S. law enforcement. It's a damning report, actually, which, which begins with saying, quote, hundreds of men and women are killed by police each and every year across the United States. No one knows exactly how many because the United States does not count how many lives are lost. Then the report lists the more recent cases which have drawn condemnation and protests across the country, like that of Walter Scott, a 50-year-old unarmed black man who was fatally shot in the back after a traffic stop for a broken light on his car, or Tamir Rice, a 12-year-old black boy shot and killed by officers in Ohio while playing in a park with a toy gun. The report says accountability for police use of lethal force is, uh, quote, severely lacking in the United States. It says international law requires such accountability. This report is also interesting because the U.S. is so vocal about protecting human rights across the world. And this international human rights watchdog is now calling on the U.S. to protect the human rights of its own citizens.